What's going on, you guys? So, Matrix Games had an announcement today, and they are unveiling a brand new game called Strategic Command World War II World at War. Now, what this game is, is the next step in the Strategic Command series. Previously, you had a Strategic Command World War II War in Europe, which obviously only covered the war in Europe. This one is going to combine the Atlantic and the Pacific theaters in one massive map. So, diving right into it, in Strategic Command, World War II, World at War, you have the chance to test the ultimate limits of your strategic skills. Building up your war machine and leading into battle won't be enough. Underestimating the benefits of a well-balanced alliance or forgetting to keep the production running will be the perfect recipe for disaster. Fight all over the world in a detailed top-down hex-based map by taking command of the Axis or the Allies and discover what leadership truly means. New features, new theaters, new units, and new decision events will help you decide your own path to victory. Building on the success of Strategic Command World War II War in Europe, Strategic... World at War is taking the game even uh, further forwards. All right, let's dive into the product page. Okay, so here we have the product page. I, really, I like the box art here. It looks kind of cool. All right. So looking at this here, it's made by Fury Software. That's really good. Great developer. So this is going to encompass both the Atlantic and Pacific theaters. And let's see what we have here in terms of new features. All right. So limited naval repairs to kamikazes. Wow. You're going to be able to use kamikazes in this game. So just to give you guys a heads up, many games don't allow you to use that because uh, it was a very touchy subject to use. Uh, so... You know, Hearts of Iron, numerous other games did not include it. You would have to get a mod to, you know, enable such a feature. Them bringing kamikazes into this game is going to add a lot of realism. Now, I don't know if you're going to have a significant amount of people or, uh, you know, bring up the issue of, like, this is not appropriate. I honestly feel like this brings a lot of realism and immersion to the game because... This is what did happen, you know, and it's part, it was part of the Japanese strategy to sink as many ships as possible. So, you know, if you're sending a massive fleet to Japan and they're using kamikazes and you're feeling the sting, the actual uh, significant amount of your fleet is being destroyed because of it, you know, it changes your strategy of the game and it makes it more realistic, honestly. So, um, I actually... I'm looking forward to that feature, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm I appreciate that Fury Software and uh, Slytherin and Matrix Games are having the uh, tenacity to say, "Look, we're going to put this in this game. It might be controversial. We're going to do it." So I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, other new features: take command of the Axis and allies, and refight the whole World War II. Let the computer take control of some of your allies, so you can concentrate on your favorite theaters. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. Play on a top-down hex-based map spanning the entire globe. In addition to the grand campaign starting in 1939, World of War also includes shorter scenarios. Realistic fog of war simulates a historical atmosphere where you have to make decisions with only partial information of your opponent's intentions and dispositions. That's going to be awesome. I really like, you know, fog of war changes uh, the dynamics of the game. Play with the choice of 3D unit graphics or NATO you prefer a more traditional war game experience. Research upgrade your units with a unique level of choices, infantry weapons, rockets, anti-submarine warfare, amphibious warfare, and more. Use diplomacy to win over new allies and use your intelligence to undermine the enemy. Contains a large number of strategic level decision events for you to choose your path to victory. I think two key features here that I'm looking forward to is making new allies. So, for example, if you play the Axis and you get Argentina to come, you know, with you into the uh, Axis. And that kind of gives you a nice base in the Americas to undermine U.S., uh, you know, key positions, you know, you could use Argentinian bases to strike uh, U.S. possessions, possibly the Panama Canal and such. The other thing that uh, I think is going to be huge is decision events. I, I feel like when I'm when I'm reading this, the first thing that pops up in my head is Hearts of Iron. 
and how you have decision events there. I think mixing that with uh, the strategic command series is going to be incredible. I think that's going to make this game leaps and bounds better than the previous uh, war in Europe. I think having decision events is going to uh, add a lot more depth to the game, definitely. Very easy to use editor to make your own what-if scenarios and cr uh, or create new maps and campaigns from scratch. Modders will be glad to know that this game can have 10 major powers. Awesome. I love that they add editors. Adds a lot more longevity to the game. You know, you see games that have these mods that, you know, just add years and years of life to it. So, And the awesome thing about it is, you know, if you, whatever the cost of the game is, let's see how much it's actually going to cost. Uh, there's no price yet. But whatever it is, even if it's 60 bucks, that 60 bucks could, you know, give you 5, 10, maybe even 15 years of constant gameplay, of constant gaining back to this game. And very active community, eager to share developments with other players, whether it be changing the look of the map or designing new campaigns, even covering conflicts in other time periods. There is a lot there. That's going to be awesome. World War One, I, I can imagine, possibly, you know, you know, Korea, uh, Cold War. There's so many, so much you can do now that you're going to have a world map here. So let's look at some of the screenshots. <clears throat> so... Opening this up to the Pacific Theater, you definitely have Japan, China. You got some Japanese carriers there. Very cool. Some definitely new wars to deal with. Reconquering the... Uh, the uh, oh, actually, this is probably the Japanese uh, taking the Philippines. Really cool. And then this is... Samoa. It's going to be really interesting in regards to the island hopping campaign in the Pacific. Which islands do you bypass? Utilizing uh, the, your air assets to provide the most destructive force. Like, for example, uh, using the Samoan uh, airfields to attack possibly Japanese on the Fiji Islands. Nice, really cool. And then you have the European theater here. I like that they're adding NATO uh, icons here, unit symbols. That I know there's a lot of people that love that. Uh, I kind of would probably go with the original. Then again, NATO is kind of cool. You can easily tell infantry versus airborne and such. And that's Africa. Nice. So, yeah, guys, uh, looking at this game, I, I'm very pumped for it. You know, when I was playing War in Europe, I was really like, I would love for them to make, uh, you know, a world map, you know, and play the, that game on a war, world scale. So, so, the one thing I'm hoping they do with this game is that they make, as well as a desktop, a mobile version of this game, you know, for the iPad. And, you know, one thing I've been seeing a lot lately is a lot of companies bringing their AAA titles to the mobile and smartphone side. You know, Civilization VI, Rome Total War. I would love, love Strategic Command, World War II War at, you, at war on my iPhone. That would be incredible. It can be done. We, we see, you know, Rome Total War doing Civilization VI. I would love for this game to come out to the mobile platform. All right, guys, that does it for this. I am really pumped for this. Uh, I think this is going to be a really great addition to uh, Matrix Catalog. Uh, I'm definitely getting it as soon as it hits, uh, as soon as it's released. All right, guys, that does it for this. I will catch you guys in the next one. See you then.